Hello and welcome to another Cycle FTFM video, Fundamental Training for Marketers, brought to you by 3Chilis, the experienced technology experts. In this video, we're going to be talking about searching in Sitecore. Now before we start, it's worth noting that the search functionality will not look through your archived items. Okay, so there's a number of different ways to search in Sitecore. If you want to do a quick and simple search through the content tree, you can use the search functionality associated with the content tree in the content editor. This search runs through the entire content tree starting from the selected item. This means that the search results found at the starting point are listed first. So if we have blog selected here, it'll cycle through the whole tree starting from the blog section. To search for an item using the content tree search, in the content tree, select the item that you want to start the search from, we'll select our blog. In the search field, enter the keyword that you want to search for, this could be any character, number, word, or so on. And we're going to search for the word office. And click search or press enter to perform the search. And you can see below that we've got a list of items returned from the entire content tree. Now, to run a search within a specific item, navigate to the item in the content area, and you can see these tabs along here. Click search and enter your search criteria. If you want to run more than just one of these searches at the same time, you can go ahead and open a new search tab and you can open as many of these as you want. You can also access the search functionality from the experience editor. And that's found right here in the ribbon. When you click on that, this navigate to item dialog box opens and by default, it'll search all of the items within Sitecore. Okay, so let's look at this in a bit more detail. Whether you access a search from the content editor or experience editor, you have the same options to build a query, to view, and to filter the search results. This is the search field, and it's where you enter your search query. You can either enter free text, use a predefined search filter, or use a combination of both. Now we're gonna save advanced search techniques for another video, but it's worth noting that your website administrator can set up the search engine to determine, for example, which search views and facets are available to you. So if you can't see anything that I'm seeing here, it might be because that view hasn't been enabled on your account. The different views of the search results are available over to the right here of the search field, and the default views are list view, grid view, and image view. But you can also have the administrator activate several other views like tag view or table view. These are the facets, and facets is a way of categorizing the items returned by the search. For example, items can be classified by author, language, or by when they were created. Once you have a list of search results, you can use the facets to filter the results even further. When you run a search, the results are listed here, below the search field. The search results contain basic information about the items returned, such as title, template, and version to give you a quick overview. From the list of search results, you can click an item to open it in the content editor or to navigate to the appropriate page in the experience editor. This video was brought to you by 3Chilis, the experienced technology experts. For more free cycle training videos, head over to 3chilis.co.uk forward slash training. Or if you'd like to organize a bespoke training day for your marketing team, email us or give us a ring. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe if you found this video useful.